Today's video is gonna be something a lot different than what I shoot, but today's gonna be about, as you guys can see, Amazon. Um, so if you guys don't know, I am an Amazon delivery driver. I've been an Amazon delivery driver for tomorrow, starting every three months. So, yeah. So these are the facts that you need to know, or the things you need to know, being an Amazon delivery driver. The truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth i don't see so many videos but i'm gonna make a twist to it and we're gonna be right all right so let's get into it so fact number one okay i'm gonna say this for everybody if you ever think about becoming an amazon delivery driver or anything like that this is fact number one and something that you need to know and this is something they probably want to tell you when you get hired if you're not used to being on your feet all day you're not used to walking, you're not used to moving and being physical, the job is not for you. <laughs> the job isn't for you. You're going to be on your feet all day. You're going to be walking. You're going to be up and down the steps. You're going to be in and out the van. So if you're not used to physical, you know, being physical all the time and in and out the car, you know what I'm saying, this job is not going to be for you because you're going to be in and out the van for 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours, depends on how fast you deliver, whatever. So that's fact number one, okay? Because a lot of people get the job and they be like, okay, delivery, but Amazon, we get a lot of packages and you're gonna be in and out that van. We deliver rain, sleet, hell, or snow. So you're gonna be in and out that van, you're gonna get rained on, you're gonna get snow on, you're gonna get everything. Number two, animals. You're gonna run into animals, but they're gonna tell you that, you know, um, we don't deliver, if, if it's a dog in the yard, we don't deliver, if it's a dog in the yard, we don't do dogs, do not deliver, if it's a dog in the yard, that's not what you're supposed to do. If you have a dog, if you see a dog, make sure you call the customer and call your dispatcher. Let them know, hey, it's a dog in the yard, I can't deliver this package, or call the customer, once you call the customer, you call them, let them know, hey, can you, you know, Put the dog in the house so I can deliver your package. And if they refuse to do that, then you can't deliver it. That is something that Amazon will tell you. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, before you get out of the car, make sure you make a lot of noise. Or um, when you get out of the car, turn your van off or hit your, hit your alarm to see. Because dog's here. So you want to make sure you're, you know, checking your surroundings. Make sure ain't no dog in the yard. Um, another thing is... Being patient, have patience when you're a um, DSP for Amazon because it's going to be days where you're going to have a lot of packages and it gets overwhelming and it just gets overwhelming. So you have to have patience and, you know, every day is a new route. So you're not going to have the same route every day. You're not going to see the same rows every day. You're going to have something different every day. So don't go in there expecting, okay, I'm going to have this route tomorrow and thinking, okay, I'm going to have 60 packages to tomorrow too. Like, no. It differs every day. One minute you might have 60. Next minute you might have 100 and something. Next minute you might have 200. Who knows? But, yeah, don't go into it. And don't think it's a race. It's not a race. Uh, how fast you can come back. Take your time. Look. Because when you rush in, you make careless mistakes. So, yeah, be patient. That's one thing I'm, I, I'm learning as I'm still pretty much still new to this. But I'm still learning, so be patient. It's not a race. It's not, oh, let me hurry up and try to get back. Blah, 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 blah. Um, <clears throat> another thing is make sure you, um, bring you something. Bring you something because as Amazon delivery drivers, you know, we have lunch, we have breaks. But when you are crowded with packages and you have a lot to do, sometimes we don't stop. And I'm not going to be, I'm going to be honest, I'm the type of Amazon delivery driver, I don't take any breaks because I'm so focused on getting the packages and getting them to the people that I don't, I mean, I might have a bottle of water. You know, you also want to stay hydrated. If you don't bring food, just stay hydrated because 
the job can get you dehydrated. Like I said, you're in and out the van 50,000 times the whole day. Like the whole shift, you're in and out the van. So yes, make sure you are staying hydrated. And if you want to, bring some food. Um, another thing, make sure you always turn your van off. That's something that they're gonna tell you. Make sure you always have your van off because you never know who's gonna steal your van and you don't wanna be held accountable for packages being stolen. So make sure you turn your van off at every stop. Even if the stop is if the stop is here and you're like right here and you're like, no, make sure you turn the van off. So yeah, you don't wanna be held accountable for having packages stolen so in the van. So yeah. Also, when it rains do not drive on any type of loose gravel any type of red dirt or anything like that when it rains the van is very um it's not very good in the rain you'll get stuck and you don't want that that is very like i tell you i have a story about me getting stuck but that's another if y'all want to hear that story time make sure you comment down below do not get stuck if it's raining and you cannot access the driveway or you know, you see a puddle, big puddle of water, and you cannot get down that driveway. Make sure you call the customer, okay? And tell the customer, hey, can you meet me at the bottom of your driveway? I don't want to get my van stuck. Boom. Um, another little thing you should know about Amazon is um, you're going to get packages. Packages are going to be crazy. Um, packages are heavy. Like I said, if you're not used to being on your feet, you're not used to walking around, you're going to have to get used to it. If you're this your first time, you're going to get used to it. You're going to get packages. Like I said, you're not going to have the same route every day. And you're not going to have the same amount of packages every day. Every, every day differs. So make sure you're ready for that. And just, you know, take your time. Breathe. It's going to be okay. Um, Something else. Also, your phone. Do not be on your phone. Amazon does track when you're on your phone and that mess with your FICO score. Your FICO score is like your credit score for driving. It checks for acceleration, it checks for speeding, it checks for distractions, and it also checks for, what else it checks for? It's checks for something else, I forgot. It's speeding, it's distractions, acceleration, it's braking, and then it's overall. So the lowest I think you would get is 300. You don't ever want to be in the 300s. And the highest is like 850. Um, you want to keep your score good because you don't want to get chewed out about your FICO score. Um, you want to keep it good. You want to make sure you keep your phone out of sight, out of mind. If you got to turn, turn it off, turn it off. Okay? don't want to get your score lower than at least you want to keep it at least i would say keep it at least at 700. i wouldn't even say keep it at 600 but 600 is okay but you want to keep it at 700 and keep it 700 higher 700 higher you're good um what else i think that's it if i forget something i might make a part two but those are the the things you need to know as an amazon delivery driver it's just that you know, your job is to make sure the customer get their package and you also want to be safe. You don't want to hurt nobody. You don't want to hurt yourself. So those are some of the facts um, of being an Amazon delivery driver, man. We are busy. It's peak season coming, so we're going to be busy. Um, those are some of the facts. If you guys want to know like a day in the life, I would do that to show you guys like the pick sheet and all. If you want to go into real detail about the job job, comment down below. But that is some of the facts that you need to know about being an Amazon delivery driver. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Baby. Deuces.